Hello, my name is Don Hood, and before I start, let me take care of the obligatory uh, financial disclosures. I have uh, equipment and financial support from both TopCon and Heidelberg. So this is an introduction to a, a series of lectures, I'm going to call modules, on how to identify and understand glaucomatous damage based upon OCT scans. Now, in terms of background, over the last 10 years, my lab has tested a few thousand patients and reviewed, and more importantly, I should say, reviewed the results with talented ophthalmologists, most notably Jeff O'Dell, Bob Rich, and Gus DeMores, and more recently, my colleagues at Columbia, Jeff Liebman, Dana Blumberg, Lemma Elwad, and Jack Chaffee. I've learned a lot from these talented people, and I am grateful. I've incorporated what I've learned from them and from other talented ophthalmologists into an approach to identify and understand glaucomatous damage based on OCTs. For the last five years, I've been lecturing on this topic to optometrists and ophthalmologists in the US, Asia, and Europe. And I found first that clinicians caring for glaucoma patients are not making optimal use of this incredible technology and I'll document and discuss that in detail in these modules. Um, second, um, I've, I've learned that there's a, a desire to learn more about how to better use these, uh, use the OCT, and thus these lectures. The first seven modules I'm posting now, now being the end of February 2018, were originally given in, at the end of October 2017 at the SUNY School of Optometry at a meeting organized by Murray Fingeret and supported by the Optometric Glaucoma Foundation. I want to add I'm indebted to Murray for organizing this meeting and for his encouragement in general in producing these modules. So that's the background. In terms of ta target audience, it's fairly broad. Uh, certainly, ophthalm ophthalmologists and optometrists and their fellows and their residents, uh, I would hope they would all benefit from these modules, but it's uh, aimed at a level that should also be of interest to medical students uh, who have some interest in glaucoma, either for a research purpose or because of their clinical experience. And I should add also that since glaucoma is just one optic neuropathy, uh, I think much of this material should be of interest to neuro-ophthalmologists as well. So here are the topics for the first seven modules as of February 2018. This will be updated and changed as I improve the lectures and or add information. Uh, here are three relevant review articles. I'll post these on my website uh, along with other information and other references. So please check the website. Uh, with that, I want to thank you for listening, and I hope you'll proceed to Module 1.